Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown with your morning digital news brief for this Tuesday, March 5th. Multiple people are recovering this morning after Philadelphia police say a group of 15 juveniles began firing multiple rounds into the crowd of about 15 to 20 people. The shots were fired in the area of Godfrey and Ogons Avenues about 345 Monday afternoon. Of the four who were injured, officials say two 15-year-olds suffered from graze wounds, while one of the two bystanders was shot once in the head. Officials say the target, a 17-year-old student at Emotep, the charter school there, was taken to Albert Einstein Medical Center, where he later died from his injuries. And Philadelphia police have a person in custody this morning in connection to the murders of a man and woman in Fairmount Park. Detectives found the bodies of Christina Chambers and Thurston Cooper on Thursday night near the historic Mount Pleasant Mansion. So far, no formal charges have been filed. And now let's get that next weather forecast for you. Here's meteorologist Kate Bilo. Kate, good morning. Hey, Natasha, good morning. It has been a bit of a miserable morning, though. Unfortunately, we've had bands of rain moving through all day long, and it's really going to continue right through mid day. Here's a look at today's forecast. We've got rounds of showers, nothing all that heavy, but showers still around through afternoon. There will be some breaks in the action as well, but you're going to want the umbrella or at least the waterproof jacket with the hood out there today. You can see the back edge of this system still going to rotate through as we get into the afternoon. And our next system, it's a slow moving cold front off to the west. That is approaching pretty quickly, so not much of a break in between those two systems. As we go through the rest of today, the rain will taper to just a few scattered showers. You can see, though, it may pick up again mid-afternoon as it gets out of here and then drying out for the evening commute. There's only about an 18-hour break between this system and our next one, so tomorrow morning's commute is dry. By midday, here we go, noon tomorrow, you can see some rain, especially steady down the shore, and that will continue to fill in as we go through your Wednesday evening with the heaviest rain again along the coast, and that will linger into Thursday as well. Well, your next seven days, one bright spot, that's Friday. Then another system arrives later Saturday with rain Saturday night into the first half of Sunday. We'll try to dry it out, hopefully during the St. Patrick's Day Parade Sunday afternoon and then brighter but chilly early next week. Natasha, I'll send it back to you. All right, Kate, thank you very much. Well, remember, you can always get Kate's most up-to-date forecast. Also, the latest stories right on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. That is the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Natasha Brown. Have a great day.